Hello and welcome to DCP SideQuest episode number 167. It's the final episode of January before we descend it into is. February. It is. It's almost February. Oh my God. February. It's going I'm, re- I'm, I'm really excited. I'm yeah? excited too. I thought you were kind of dreading it, Watts. I thought you were kind of so, like... I was, but with my current, not, okay, disdain is a strong word. <laughs> That's the disdain. first word I thought. Current disdain. Hmm. My current disdain towards destiny. <laughs> makes it feel Des- <laughs> destiny disdain. Wow. That's that's a YouTube video. I should put that out right yeah. now. You should. That's a good title. Destiny disdain. My yeah. true destiny feelings right there. over <laughs> destiny. <laughs> disdain? Question mark? I'm looking forward to Lightfall. Like, I know I, I Bungie are incredible at crafting environments and the music and the raids and the campaign. It's going to be amazing. You're um, not looking yeah. forward to the disdain you'll feel for the like a GDP. month after the month after the post <laughs> yeah. destiny disdain after it's like when you play through it's like if you play through Elden ring and then you're like okay yeah, yeah yeah i'm gonna keep playing i'm gonna do new game plus and then you're like wait this isn't nearly as fun as the first time i played uh, yeah. Elden ring oh not, yeah not the so same you're like cut, oh maybe yeah. i can go play other games actually yeah. yeah you know i've been fearing that moment so i actually have not started a second playthrough because I was yeah. fearful of the feeling of being like, this is not the same. I know there's a cave <laughs> over there, and I know that this is over there. The only way that I think I could make that fun for myself is if I did, like, the randomizer, where the, the items are just completely random. Even they, some of the oh, bosses are yeah, random. Yeah, that would be cool. Do they yeah. have that yeah. for yeah. Elden Ring already? Oh, I'm sure. On PC? Yeah. 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 Wow. Because that okay. would be a way to, yeah, actually enjoy Spice things the up. surprise of stuff. Can you get a boss that's unkillable for you? I mean, unless you're a god, obviously. Probably. Right? Like, yeah. You, I mean, yeah. you could do that in the main game. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, right? I definitely ran into bosses that I had no shot at. I had to just like leave and come back later. Yeah, I guess you're right. There's progression walls that you can kind of bypass. So, I mean, I suppose if you're good enough. Like you can mm-hmm. you can be any boss, but I'm I'm there are definitely bosses I couldn't be. Right? Am I? How much time am I looking to invest in that playthrough yeah. versus yeah. the sheer enjoyment of just getting a new experience of Elden Ring? Because that's really what we're talking about is a new experience of Elden Ring. We're not trying yeah. to um, yeah yank hair out over anger of having to beat this one boss in our right. randomized dungeon playthrough. I mean, theoretically, do an item randomizer. Come. True. Item randomizer would be fun, I think. Yeah. I would definitely play through for a second build, too, because I really like focused on a build that was working for me and really kind of, I mostly just stuck with it for the entire game because it yeah. was just working so good. Yeah, I did the Fat Boy build. I was like, I've never done a yeah. Fat Boy build in a uh, Souls game. I mean, Souls in quotations with Elden Ring, but like, I was fat rolling everywhere and just big old shielding. I was like, this is different. It's so weird, and I'm loving it. There are definitely moments to that game I'd love to see again. Like, that boss fight, like the big celestial stag thing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. That was amazing. Love that one, yeah. You know? Down in the cave. And the blood god was really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love him. What do you, what do but you yell? But there's certain moments you'll never see again. Neil! Neil, that's right. <laughs> Neil! Neil! <laughs> I'll never forget that he never did any of that for Tomo. He never went to the second phase. He just like looked out or something. Yeah. So I was like talking to, to Tomo was watching the stream and he's like, what is this going on? He's like doing a countdown. He's like doing screaming knee hill. He's she got never wings. got the kneel he's thing. Like, I'm like, that's why I loved it so that's much is crazy. the countdown. And like, it's just that. Yeah. That fight is really cool with the, the knee hills. Yeah. I think the, the, um, the thing you get afterwards would make no sense if you didn't see that. Also, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> you're like, what is this spell? That's weird. <laughs> yeah, it was like, why would I use this item that, like, you know, completely undoes his uh, mm-hmm. his meal? <laughs> well, oh, that's funny. You know. that's funny. Yeah, yeah. I, last week, I finally finished that video t- that Tefty got me to do. You suggested that I did that uh, yeah. shooter video of all the shooters that I got. And while I was making that video, I was thinking about what what is it about these games that I like so much? Mm. And mm-hmm. I watched another video by I think the guy's name is Electric Underground. He was talking about like the density of fun. Whereas mm. like yes. in a lot of games, you will go, you know, you'll get on a horse and you'll ride for 
you know, five minutes to get to a place to explore, or like a fort that you got to clear out, like these open world games. And it's just like you get these like pieces of fun that are split up by not boredom exactly, but like, you know, slower moments. Right. Elden yeah. Ring, I think there were definitely like breaks in like the the super excitement, but it it felt even exploring was fun in that game because you constantly are getting rewarded for finding stuff. It was just the whole world was so densely packed with new and interesting experiences. It was really Yeah. Yeah, it was it was something like every it was like every two minutes or something, you will find something that catches your eye to go to, whether it's a dungeon or an item or a camp or something. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you're constantly like, oh, what's that? You never have this long period of just like, what am I doing? Where am I going? Yeah. Where's the good stuff? Yeah. Wasn't that the Skyrim formula? It's like you're always finding something new in Skyrim. It was massive, right? Maybe. I didn't play yeah. a lot of Skyrim. It, the Elder Scrolls games just never grabbed me that much. I played one of them to, to completion, but it just didn't grab me. I think it's that first-person combat. It always felt so shitty. Oh, yeah, you do have to get past that. Skyrim did a lot of good stuff. I it took me a couple tries <laughs> and to stream it actually <laughs> to get past the initial hump. But once you got past that hump and you were like, oh, look at this world that I can explore and all these like things to um to build out character specking and all that and like quest lines to do, then you start seeing you start getting some of the similar feels of what Elden Ring gives you. Elden I feel like Elden Ring could be though that like a, a new generation of feeling like Elden Ring level of yeah. excitement and density over a game, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The Witcher 3 did it to some extent with, like, every every time I came across a quest, it was new and interesting. It wasn't just, like, go slay five pigs and come bring me their pelts. It was, you know, somebody stole the, the penis off of this statue and it you know yeah. it's everybody in this penis village is now in, infertile <laughs> you know like it, like oh it is this becomes a three-hour quest because like, yeah the questing like, is so good in, in the witcher yeah like you go to some it's, island that's like some bog is haunting and it turns into some other storyline then ends up being some legendary gear or witcher gear later on it's really cool uh, they, they did yeah. do a good job with that as well um yeah well, we well, had indeed. an Xbox thing happen. Yeah. This thing that happened. Uh, the highlights were definitely Hi Fi Rush just dropping. Wi Fi Rush. <laughs> wi Fi Rush? Is that what he says? <laughs> That's what the font makes me feel. Every time it boots up, it looks like the font makes the H look like a W to me. It looks like Wi Fi. <laughs> and that works too. Rush. <laughs> and people are already saying, like, this might be one of the best games I've ever played. Which is oh, uh, incredible. Well, it's not saying anything we're going to regret. Well, Briar, Briar, you played some, right? <laughs> I played some. It's cool. It looks fantastic. <laughs> it does look fantastic. Best game I've ever played. That's a stretch. <laughs> going to beat Elden Ring? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a completely different game. It's cool because it's one of those like uh, beat games where you got to like attack on the beat. Nice. Yeah. Rhythm game. And yeah. Jump on yeah, the, the rhythm game. And it's... You know, it's constantly playing music in the background, and it it does a lot of licensed music, which is nice too. So it's like stuff that you recognize. You know, like uh, Black Eyed Keys, Black Eyed Keys, Black the Keys. Black Eyed Keys, Black Eyed Keys. I don't know. Black Eyed I'm Keys. Old. No, it's Black Keys. I think. Okay. <laughs> Black Keys and yeah. the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> wow, two totally different bands. That is a mashup, Briar. That wow. is a mashup. That is a mashup. Wow. But you'll like you'll be like playing the game and the combat will start and you'll kind of like for me the best the easiest way to kind of keep with the beat was to tap my toe. Mm-hmm. You know, because you really want to it rewards you tremendously for hitting attack buttons on the beat and you hit heavy attack buttons on every other beat. You know, because it's slower, and the closer yeah. you get the timing, the more damage you do, and then you can also follow up with kind of this like super attack that you gotta, you know, you, you go for like a fourth hit, but the ring there's like a visual ring that gets smaller, and as it kind of hits the middle, like then you hit the button, and you kind of get this like big attack. It's fun, and it, it looks outstanding. The animation style is really cool looking. Mm-hmm. But I, I was getting bored fairly quickly, honestly. Like the gimmick was not quite enough to keep me 
engaged. Hmm. Interesting. I'm excited. I haven't. I didn't get a chance to play it yet, so I'm excited to download it because it's on Game Pass, right? It is That's on correct. Game Pass. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it an Xbox exclusive? It's on PC as well, right? It is on. I think it's on Steam. I believe. Yeah. I'll double hmm. check. Um, I saw people okay. saying they bought it, and I was like, "Why'd you buy it? Look Even it if you if you've never had if you've never had Game Pass before, you can pay a dollar, and then you have." Game Maybe Pass. they're like Briar and they wanted a physical copy. It it's is on of, Steam. It, it's thirty bucks. Thirty bucks on Steam. Got it. Bucks. I think their physical copy is coming in the mail, and then they'll play it because that's <laughs> Briar does. I just, I just got a copy of uh, Weird West in the mail today. I was like, ooh, I forgot about this game. It came out like a year ago. Oh, nice. <laughs> that game is pretty fun. Yeah, yeah I enjoyed I'm it. Forward to it. <laughs> um, we also had Redfall. They showed off a lot more Redfall coming out on May 2nd. Vampires. What did you think of this game? So I saw a lot of people being like, this looks really bad. But when I saw it, I was like, this looks pretty interesting to me because it's one one. I didn't know it was open world. Apparently it's open world. It's co-op. So you can like run around with your buds and you can do like vampire stuff. And it, it looked and it also looked like there was loot. And in a lot of like arcane games, there's not like this kind of loot system that you pick up. But we saw that there was like a blue weapon or something like that. So I, I don't know. I thought that I would. It looked like a good time. Mm-hmm. It looks like a Left 4 Dead style game to me. And, but they keep saying it's not a Left 4 Dead style game, but it keeps it keeps looking like a Left 4 Dead style game. Well, Left 4 Dead, you know, is level based type of thing. If it's open world, that's that's yeah. a big departure from that. So I could see that they they could have those that that rush, you know, zombie rush type of feel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To an open world type of thing, so I could see that. Um, I'm gonna I'm I'm not sure yet. I, I want to reserve judgment until I actually play it because this is one of these yeah, things that's sure. hard to tell because it could be really fun. It just doesn't demo well on a video <laughs> you know what i mean yeah i am i'm i'm hit or miss on arcane like sometimes i love Same. what they're doing and sometimes it just doesn't connect with me at all mm-hmm. so i'll probably check this out when it comes out but i'm not like chomping at the bit for it either yeah i saw yeah. the release date and i was like this this game looks interesting enough for me to check it out with the time that it's releasing <laughs> yeah i saw may and i was like it's pretty close to zelda <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> of course, the Game Pass thing. Game pa- it makes it so easy to try things on Game Pass because you're like, it's a Game Pass. Just download it. See? Yeah? It does, right? It makes it easy. But does it also sort of cheapen the experience a little bit? Like, oh, I could download that on Game Pass and then I never actually get around to playing it? If you're the type of person that exclusively buys physical copies and waits for them in the mail to show up and then decide to play a game, then yeah, it cheapens the experience. <laughs> For me, it definitely does not. I really appreciate Game Pass. And some games I'll play through all the ways. Other game, I don't feel like I have to play the game all the way through because I spent 70 bucks on it. I, I don't I don't yeah, have this right. like this yeah, existential dread over wasting money having not getting the full experience over the, the copy. It's of the like, game well, now something. I'm just paying to give myself a bad time. If yeah, I stick exactly. Around, yeah. I'm just paying to have not fun. Like, oh, I spent the 70 and I hate this game. Oh God, <laughs> what am I going to do? I guess I better keep playing it. No, like I, I think the game pass just makes it so I can freely play a game as much as I want. And when I'm done with it, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. No cheaping. No cheap. Experience. I don't know. My Xbox is full of games that I've downloaded and like played for 10 minutes. It's weird. Well, are you going into it with the mindset of like the, I'll download it and try it out instead of like I'm gonna sit down and play this game? Probably because I think because those are like different mindsets, right? Like if I'm just downloading a yeah. game and I'm like, well, you know, I'm planning on you know checking it out for like I don't know 10, 30 minutes. But if I'm like, okay, I'm ready to start this new gaming experience, and I'm it's yeah. kind of a different. I'm gonna mindset. unwrap the the saran wrap <laughs> and smell all that petrochemical. Like, look for the inside and look at there's oh there's no manual because they don't do that anymore i'm gonna take the disc out slide it into my ps5 man. and wait 30 minutes for it to copy <laughs> i honestly don't know if my ps5 will ever have a disc in it do you have one that has a disc slot i do reluctantly because yeah. it was the only one that was available yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah i don't think it's ones. ever gonna have a, a disc put in the drive huh. ever same. Does that make you sad, Brian? No. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> it's the same with my Switch. <laughs> yeah. With the Switch, it even makes more sense, really, to me. Because it's a portable system, and to carry around all those cartridges, like you're carrying around, paying the ass. I don't know, hundreds of dollars worth of games, as well as the Switch. Yeah. If it gets stolen or lost, like you lose all of that. Yeah. Damn. That's right. Good. Yeah. What else was the but, yeah. uh, Xbox <laughs> showcase? <laughs> was, what, what were the highlights? Um, they showed off some Elder Scrolls stuff. They were doing the like, you know, check out the DLC for free for a bit, and then check out the twenty DLCs for free for a limited time, yeah. or something like that. I so was really almost thinking, like, like, damn, this game looks good, and then they're like, you can play the first twenty DLCs. I'm like, twenty. Oh, that's too much. I can't do that. <laughs> like I barely, I barely got time for ten minutes. How am I going to play twenty DLCs? <laughs> they need to say in one of these ads because they're always showing this game at like every event, right? They need to show in one of these like, hey, there's also this nice forty hour quest that you can get through in a, a week or two. It's a new this player experience. You. It's, yeah, yeah, you know, it's show show stuff that new players can see and be like, okay, I could get into that. Yeah, it is a little As tough when you're to, like, <laughs> oh, the first <laughs> twenty DLCs are free. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't. A little intimidating. <laughs> I, okay, intimidating. I think from our perspective, definitely a bit intimidating. But I think from someone who's looking for some value and wanting to get into an MMO, I think sure. that sounds amazing. You know, and the game you looks fantastic too. Like I was really impressed, like with how it looked. Hmm. Yeah. It does look good. Yeah. I don't know if the combat's improved. I feel like the combat was always one of those things where it's like, mm, you know. Is it third scrolls. person or first person? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I've seen people um, have mixed mixed feelings about the combat. It's third person. Uh, but it's possible they've evolved it over time. I don't know. Um, yeah. I mean, it's great to see it grow. But if I was to choose the MMO right now, it would probably be Final Fantasy. But I'm not choosing MMO. <laughs> Not doing it. <laughs> I don't choose you, Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go Stay through twenty away. DLCs right now. <laughs> uh. Um, I don't. I don't remember. Oh, there was Forza. That's when I fell asleep. Yeah, I thought Briar. I, oh I thought God. I missed How the did you whole fall showcase. The most exciting. Oh my! I was really upset. I woke up and I was like, "Oh my God, what did I miss?" And I was like, "Okay, wait, no." Oh, uh, it's just so racing. Hard. We're good. We're okay. We're okay. Yeah. We're okay. It's fine. It's fine. I fell asleep too during this showcase. <laughs> I wonder because there was a lot of like uh, really beautiful shots of like you know the staff and people making the games and like obviously very expensive cameras you know being used. I was like, You're like sit, there's a bunch of. So I had to watch. Cameras. I had to watch it again like afterwards when I woke green. up. Boards look good though. High tech studio. Yeah, that as paint a... technology, like you see the orange peel in the paint now. That's cool. Yeah, as a racing game enthusiast, <laughs> what is your honest take on Forza Motorsport? I want VR for racing games now. Um, like I am, I'm moved on. It ain't VR. Briar Rabbit ain't jumping in. Yeah, and there's look, no it's VR. So on Xbox, right? much more immersive to play a racing game in VR. You can look where you are going as opposed to where your car is pointed. Like when you drive, it's, you know, you're sitting in the car. It's just so, so much better. Like, you know, between Forza and, and Gran Turismo, like, I don't really care. I, they're both great games. I think it depends on which, if you bought a PlayStation or an Xbox, is which one you're, you're going to get. I think this game looks outstanding. They say they re revised the physics model. The physics model was awesome before, so I bet it's even better now. But without VR, I mean, I'm definitely looking at Grand Theft, Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto 5. <laughs> Gran Turismo. <laughs> All I'm reliable. definitely looking at Gran Turismo and the VR, the new VR headset thinking, that looks real fun. Yeah, that seems like it's going to be the way, right? Yeah, if you're a racing enthusiast, it's just so it's such so much more compelling experience. It's like, you know, what was that? Uh, X Wing Squadron mm -hmm. was it? Squadrons Play, playing that in VR was, I mean, it was almost like a dream come true. <laughs> like, cool. it was like I'm flying an X Wing. You know, like it felt so awesome. I'm in the cockpit. I can look around. I can fly past a star destroyer. Like. Checking the thing out, you know, it's just so awesome. It's like that is cool. 
playing driving games is a similar experience. It's just so much more fun. You feel like you're sitting inside of a Ferrari or a mm -hmm. Porsche or a, a Mustang if you're lucky, you know? But I feel like it's getting closer to like that arcade experience. You know, like you'd go to the arcade to play some machines that just were not conducive to owning at home unless you had a huge sure. space. <laughs> right? Yeah. So being able to have like the VR is like the next step of that full immersion. Right? That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, this game looks awesome, though. I'm sure it's going to be super fun. Cool. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I will consider I downloading it on Game Pass. Probably won't though. Yeah, I, I'm sure I'll I'll download it. I mean, it's gonna look amazing, right? It's gonna be running at 4K 60 FPS. Yeah. I mean, look at that. You can see the orange peel in, peel in the paint. It's amazing. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> look at that ray tracing. <laughs> there was a um, there was a trailer yeah. that came out that I was really excited about. I'm gonna put it in chat for anyone who wants to see it. But it was the newest. Wild Hearts trailer. Oh yeah, where they finally showed the rest of the weapons. Nice. Um, well, they haven't gone in depth with all of them. They've kind of like littered them throughout different videos, but but there was one that they hadn't really shown at all, and then there's one that they hadn't really uh, shown in a lot of detail. So they showed um, the claw blades, and the Katakuri staff, and the cannon. So the mm -hmm. cannon is like this massive cannon that you can use your little windmill helicopter thing and you can shoot the cannon while on the windmill so you're like an ac-130 in feudal okay Japan. yeah oh Pretty man <laughs> you just said poop, poop, excellent poop. and then once you get enough memories <laughs> 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 more memories from prior <laughs> and then once what? you get enough charge you can like shoot a massive laser at a monster Did which i just cool. really? see a tower suddenly summon what's that all about yeah. What are you these? can build stuff. Yeah? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Is that like a core mechanic um, of the game? You build yeah, stuff? Yeah, so now? it's called Katakuri. It's like, and one of the weapons is called a Katakuri staff. It's basically like oh, the, the magic God, of damn. the world, the big laser. Okay. So nice. the whole idea is that there's different types of things that you can build. So in combat, you can build like um, a block to jump off to do an attack. You can do a springboard to like spring towards the enemy and hit them. You can build bombs. You can build a big hammer. You can build like flashbangs, traps, all sorts of stuff. But then you can also build like uh, zip lines to get around the area. You can build a fan where you can jump on it and then fly around with your little helicopter. Um, and then you can, you can even build your camp anywhere. So hmm. anywhere on the map, you can be like, I want a fast travel location here. I'm going to build it here. And then you hmm. can build, even decorate. It's like Animal Crossing. Fortnite. But murder. But murder. <laughs> Monster Hunter Fortnite. I'm, d I'm down. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the role that it takes is like, um, in Monster Hunter, you know, you have to get like, uh, you have to forage for stuff to make different things like traps and flash pods and stuff. It's kind of like a taking, instead of taking items, you're using the building instead. But then, of course, you also do have like things that you can jump off of that have unique moves for every mm. weapon. Um, and you can build big bulwark works, works that a pig can smash into and go flying into the sky and fall on the floor. That sounds cool. Um, it's very fun, and they showed um, they showed the the claw blades, which are basically you just you embed your claw into the monster, and you're just like flying around the monster, attacking them oh, with your blades. Cool. It's very cool. fun. And then the other one is a staff that is five weapons in one. It transforms into five different weapons, and the whole idea is that you're using your transformation moves on the monster. It fills up a bar, and then you get to unlock the big mega. Big boy sword that. Oh, look at that! Is uh, yeah, does a lot of damage. That is a big boy sword. Big boy <laughs> sword, yeah. That makes the Buster sword look like the Chumpster sword. <laughs> <laughs> and the hit stop on it is so good. You smash it, it's just like ding, ding, ding. It's amazing. Feels great. This oh, game looks sure. cool, man. It does look really it's, cool. It's very, very, very fun. Like, it's just, I think the Koei Tecmo Studios, like Team Ninja kind of did it with Neo, where they take Dark Souls and they're like, let's just kind of turn it up to be a little bit ridiculous. They're kind of doing the same thing with Monster Hunter. It's like, let's just make it ridiculous and silly and fun. I dig it. Um, But in, in the best way. When's this come out? 
So early access is February 13th, and you get early access if you have Game Pass. Oh. Yeah. So, the Game oh. Pass. I'll be sure to download that and not play it. <laughs> Give it 10 minutes and be like, ah. <laughs> I downloaded seven games, and I mean, try and play all of them for three minutes right my now. My <laughs> experience has been cheapened. <laughs> <laughs> We'll poke fun at you, Briar, for that. That's okay. I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we're close. Yeah, like real said, close. It's, it's February very soon, so we are. This wasn't really in the Xbox showcase, was it? No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. I'm like, did I miss this? Yeah. Right. <laughs> cool. Yeah, this is a this is a game watch that you bring up. I bet at least once a month, right? Every day. I, I mean, on the show. <laughs> every and, day. <laughs> but every time you mention it, I have to look it up. I'm like, oh yeah, it's the Monster Hunter like game. I I don't think Wild Hearts is a good name for this game. I liked their original name better. I don't know what if I can it? say what the original one is, but it was basically it was something to do with Oni in Japan. You know, like Oni okay. the, the demons and stuff. Oh, nice. Um, for Wild some Hearts. reason, Wild Hearts reminds me. I, th I think there might have been a game called Wild Hearts already. Yeah, that was a JRPG, like right? A music game. Oh, okay. I feel like a JRPG <laughs> that, like, you know, Fire was Emblem there a Wild movie Hearts from the '80s called Wild Hearts. <laughs> yeah, there's, Fire, there's, Fire there's, there's a there's a song called Wild Hearts by Keith Urban. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> you know that the classic. Song, that guy. Yeah. There was. I, you're probably thinking of Sayonara Wild Hearts. Yes, that's what I'm thinking of. The music yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. Which I loved. Yeah. Well, now you have a Monster Hunter. I love two games with this name. Yeah. A mo <laughs> Monster Hunter experience. It looks really cool. <laughs> it does look really cool. It's very, 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 very fun. And I'm I was excited to this. stream today and I was like, sweet, I'm going to play Wild Hearts. And I was like, right, I can't stream that goddamn game. But now I don't want to do anything. <laughs> no. Now I don't yeah. want to even wake up. I just know what's the point of even leaving bed. Back to bed. There's no point. <laughs> the conundrum. <laughs> Why even bother? Why Did you bother? guys you guys see the new remake? Dead Space? Of Dead Space, yeah. Oh yeah. No. I so I haven't played it myself. I've watched quite a few people play through it um while I'm hanging out in streams, and it looks incredible. It looks like it they've done an incredible job. Yeah, yeah. The, people who have played it before seem really happy. New players yeah. seem really happy. Seems like it's really connecting. Yeah, yeah. It seems like they made some good uh, changes, but stayed with the spirit of the game and like the visual overhaul is just apparently exceptional. Visuals look really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is I... this a next gen or a current gen exclusive, or is it on the PS5? It's, it's PS5 X. Series yeah. X. PC? I think it's Series X, right? It's on PC. PS5. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah, it's um, it looks really good. I I'm like really close to buying it, but I actually just bought Last of Us Part One remake out of a weakness yeah. of watching the show. And I'm like, do I want to buy another remake? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm like, have you that played the original? I know you played. The I played the original Last both. Series. Yeah. Oh, okay. It, yeah, it was great. It was um. A lot of fond memories stomping around on the Ishimura. So I would like to play it, but at the same time, I don't know if I want to play another remake just yet, even though it looks really good. You know? Yeah. 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 Well, it'll still be like available I'm... a year from now. So <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and probably like I'm also discounted. in a limbo. I'm in like a waiting for Feb limbo. Yeah. I kind of feel that too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like I know that all these games that I'm going to put like crazy amount of hours are in and are really close. So I'm like, do I want to play? Do I want to play anything new for that? <laughs> I could. I have plenty of time. But I, I feel you. I was like, I was actually I had a moment of weakness where I almost bought Forspoken, and then I watched a few more reviews and I was like, okay, maybe, maybe I'm just going to pump the brakes here. <laughs> <laughs> the thing, the thing with Forspoken, like I think it could actually be pretty fun, but the I know, fact that right? you have to be like seven hours into the game to get the second magic is crazy. Yeah, the melee magic, right? Yeah, is that what it is. And then you, there's, there's more magic after that too. So I'm, I'm really curious as to why they put the fire magic so far into the game. The systems look appealing to me, 
And when I see combat, I'm like, I think I would enjoy that. And then I see the landscape traversal, and I'm like, I would be into that. And then I see the the commentation about it being kind of bland looking and stuff, and bland stuff around, and just a different color filter. Yeah, so it's a pretty dead world. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, well, I could look past that. I definitely could. So like, I'm. I feel like I'm on this. Um, if you turn your TV on mute too, it's probably great. Yeah, apparently the banner is bad and annoying. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things I could definitely look past, but then I'm like. February is around the corner. If I just hold out <laughs> a little bit longer, I could make it. And I just started playing Last of Us Part 1 remake as well. So I'm like, pump the brakes. I didn't buy it. How is Last of Us Remake? I, I, I plan on picking that up. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Yeah. So yeah, as you guys know, the show's out and uh, the show is uh, amazing. If you've been, at least I think anyways, uh, if you've been watching it. They've been doing just incredible work with like making the show seem just way better than even the game. So I was like, yeah, I want to play the remake now uh, because it's I, I'm sure they've sold a bunch of copies of the remake because of the show. You know, I'm oh, sure because yeah. <laughs> it ain't on sale. And they're like, yeah, 70 bucks. Let's, you know, let's do this. <laughs> um, it's uh, it's really good. The the old mm, game design still exists in it. Like, I have some problems with it, but overall, it's like an amazing remake experience. Like the visuals they, are just they didn't stunning. Like, they didn't like uh, put in like the new combat system from two. They they changed it for sure. No, that's actually not really my problem. My problem with it right now is like the looting system. Because when going through it, I feel like I have to check every corner, and I don't yeah. know if it's even worth it. But like I should because it's a survival game. And if you don't have certain things, if you're playing on a higher difficulty, and if you don't have certain loot, then it can actually get really painful later on. Mm. So I'm like, I feel like I have to go in each freaking corner and see if I pick up some little nook and cranny of something. And there's no that is visual so prevalent right now. Yeah, it's in, super annoying. In all games, it seems like you yeah. gotta you gotta like look around every fucking corner behind every box. You gotta break every box, and like yes. it just it slows down the pace of gameplay so much. Yeah, like Memes was excited to watch me play it, and then she's like, "When are you gonna get to some parts where things are happening? You're just like in a corner, <laughs> like checking for loot constantly." Yeah. And I'm like, "I know this is pissing Crash me off." <laughs> I'm just looking for bolts and springs, paper. Here's a jug of water. All right. There's a clicker. So visually, they've done um like it's not a remake. It's a it's a current gen or next gen title, is what it is. Visually. Yeah. It's yeah. stunning looking. Like it's wow. It looks great. Yeah. Facial animations, like it's an homage to the game, and it's uh, insane how good it looks. Uh, you know, they already had remade remade it for the PS4, so that was already a real good reboot of the title right there. Not reboot, uh, remake. So they have um, they went further with it. They also made some good accessibility things that actually make the gameplay a bit better as well. Like, you don't have to mash the button for QuickTime stuff. In an accessibility option, you can say, just hold the button, and you're good. So when you're, like, choking someone out, you just hold square, you choke them out. So that's nice. Um, the looting system also, they made it so you can just walk over stuff and it automatically picks up things that you would pick up. So you don't have oh, to mess. Oh, thank God. Yes. <laughs> so that's <laughs> great. I turn that on. I hate, and I'm, yeah. I hate games where you got to like push the button and there's like four things all next to each other. I know. You, but you only want to pick up one of them. <laughs> I know. I know, right? And so now I'm like, okay, I just have to walk by the dead corner. or I, have to, I just have to walk by the pitch black corner for a moment to see if there's anything there, and then I should be good. Yeah. So I still have this, I have to scan the area of brain going on, but it's a little bit faster. you know. That's and if you come up to a drawer, you still have to open up the drawer to pop it open and see if there's anything there. So, so the, those annoyances are still there. Um, also, the puzzle solving is still like, oh, pick up this ladder, bring it over here, move this box, whatnot. And uh, mm -hmm. I don't mind those too much. They're, they're kind of like, I feel like those are like an old school homage to gaming of yesteryears, you know? So I'm like, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But um, the looting pisses me off. Like, I don't want to have to worry about <laughs> scraping the entire area before I leave it to then yeah. get yeah. to the next part. Otherwise, it'd be like and loot. I feel like it fits that the theme of that game pretty well. It does. Yeah, you're right. But I, I'm, I'm 100%. It just, 
like I've done it so many times in so many video games, and it just like it, it feels like it just slows your progress through a video game so much. Sometimes I think it's theirs to like kind of say, "Hey, check out this beautiful, you know, place that we've built." We just want to give you a little more time, a reason to like not just burn through this place. Yeah, but also so, it's like, it, especially when you're in like a narratively like tense situation where. Like you're chasing somebody. Like the story of the game is like you're chasing somebody and you're constantly like stopping to pick up shit along the way. Well, or you go to an area and you're like, you need to either kill these zombies or get out of there. And I'm like, hold on. I need a comb the area. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, there could be that, alcohol in here. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're trying to get the hell out of here, aren't we? You know, there's like, so yeah. But, but, what game was I playing recently that the the game kept pointing out that you were doing this over and over again? Oh, the I can't recent, remember. Yeah, there was a God. What was that game? Hand, it was a hand holding type of thing. What? Rhino? It was God of War. It was God of War. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Was, everybody kept like commenting how you're constantly like looking around and breaking jars and shit. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, um, you walk into the, the arena. You turn slightly to the right. It's like, oh, you know, there is a frost over there that you could probably use to get up there. Yeah, look at that shiny thing. You're probably the way up there. You should go investigate that. Shut up. <laughs> I just got here, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's also more accessibility options to autocomplete um, puzzles as well if you don't want to deal with them in The Last of Us. So, yeah. Accessibility options are great. They're amazing, and they're really well thought out. So that's awesome. Uh, it's also missing the multiplayer. So... With the title being cost, with it costing more, it's seventy bucks now. You also don't get the multiplayer experience. Uh, you do get the DLC that came with it, which I haven't played yet. Um, but I, th I think it's worth. If you're a fan of the original game, definitely worth getting this because it's so well done, and the remake it looks stunning. You know, it's basically like part two. Part two looked stunning, and it's the exact same. Like this is a really well crafted world. And it um, it pairs really well with the TV show as well because the TV show looks phenomenal. <laughs> it looks so good. They're doing such a good job with that TV show. Yeah, I don't know if you saw the recent episode, but they've um, they've made deviations. I haven't seen the third one yet. Yeah, so they've made deviations with the original story somewhat, but I'm glad they've to hear done that, it actually. Yeah, they've done it in ways that make sense and are really good. So this last episode was really powerful. I was kind of unexpected because it's like a. A trip down, uh, it's like it's a love story, you know, like a trip down a different angle of the game that um, that you don't you don't see this in the game. You just like hear about it or read about it or something like that. So mm -hmm. they give you this whole story uh, backstory, and it's you know, exceptional, just incredibly well done. So what they're doing with the TV show is putting the bar so freaking high for any future content made from a video game. <laughs> it's they're just like, Oh, let's just way up there. That's where the bar is. Now you're going to have to hit last of us levels and good luck. <laughs> it's no street fighter, the movie, but it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's, it is good. They are, they're doing some amazing stuff with that. And, uh, yeah. So, thank you. Remakes good and TV shows good. I recommend. Yeah. And now Activision yeah. is using the success of the last of a show to be like, see, Sony will be fine. Look at their hit TV show. It's doing great. <laughs> <laughs> These arguments. This whole this are whole so thing. Silly. It's so it's so funny. Every time I read about it, I'm like, what? <laughs> What? I just feel like this toddlers at the table being like, well, I, we need a shooter. Well, you have a shooter for 10 years. Well, you have a successful TV show now, so you don't need that shooter, do you? It's just like, what is going on? Just toddlers like throwing their food at each other around yeah. the table. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it also, one of the arguments was like, yeah, it's going to be on there because we want more accessibility for the title to be sold. And then. The other argument is like, well, why wouldn't you do that for the exclusives then? If you want more titles to be sold, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, uh, this is this is brain dead. This is what this is. <laughs> I I do wonder if like if this will go through. It seems like it's getting so much attention now. I do wonder if like the FCC or some other governments the, 
similar agency will just say, nah. Microsoft Activision conjunction. Maybe like Disney will step in and buy everything. <laughs> oh, just like they did with all your TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do own everything. Become a mega, yeah. mega, ultra conglomerate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Um, what else, uh, news wise? Um, gaming news. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the end of January, right? And we're oh wait, there was ready something. Stuff. There was something with. PS oh PS Plus we should, we'll probably mention this on Thursday uh, but you're gonna be able to get Beyond Light so you'll be able to get Stasis without paying to get Stasis. Well, you gotta pay for PS Plus. Yeah. Yes. Wait, which one is PS Plus? Is PS oh, Plus? Oh God, like the I don't one? know. I uh, Briar, I don't know. Because <laughs> I, uh, I definitely pay them for something, and I, I just downloaded a couple <laughs> of games today. Right? No, I added them to my library. I didn't actually download them. I just added them to my that's library. That's plus. I believe that's plus. That's plus? Okay. Yeah. And then there's premium and have... then ultra or whatever crap. Yeah, It, it is, is so confusing. It is I, so It all confuses awful, awful. me. Yeah. So, Terrible marketing on that. <laughs> well, that's good. So I don't have to I don't have to pay for Beyond Light? Yeah, you Glad can get it. Pre-order. You can you can get <laughs> no, wait, no, 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 no. Beyond, Beyond Light. Light. That's the previous Not DLC. Oh, 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 my bad. Two light, two light DLCs nice a, ago. Yeah, <laughs> That's my bad. two years, you know, two years ago. <laughs> yeah, light fall beyond light. I understand the confusion. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, so it's even like you can you can go and get a PlayStation if you can and download it, and then you can have stasis on all of your characters. So. Yeah, if you didn't buy that's, it. That's cool. Good. Yeah. Um. You see, if Sony owns Bungie, their real True. power play would be that you get the DLC for Destiny for having the big be. the big pass. That would be the Game Pass power play. But they're not doing that, you know? Let's yeah. take a look at the Game Pass power play on the field. We have Sony. <laughs> <laughs> Sony's like, here's a game from two years ago. You get it now for your $100 thing. Congratulations. Meanwhile, Game Pass is like all these new games. There you go. Have at it. <laughs> I guess it's not a completely true. There's some stuff that's coming out day one, right, for Sony on their pass. Or maybe I don't not. I freaking know. It's too tough to keep track of. <laughs> I can't keep track of any of this stuff, to be honest. Even when it's like the confusing thing. So a lot of people didn't know that you get the EA Pass thing with Game Pass. Yeah. So, like, if you have Ultimate. Game Pass, yeah, there's a lot of EA games that you can play for free, play early. Yeah, it's crazy. I See, the, the, precedent, the precedent that Game Pass has is people now expect new titles that are associated with Microsoft to be on the Game Pass. Like, it's... Right. Yeah. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah. it's probably on Game Pass. So there's this it perceived value. Even if it doesn't actually end up on Game Pass initially, you still have this, like, built-in mindset. You're like, oh, it's probably on Game Pass. Which would be nice to, you know, whatever. I mean, it's Whereas, worth checking. I'm worth checking, sure. exactly. And which kind of yeah. makes you want to keep the service. Whereas the Sony one, it said I have to re up here in, in the next month. And I'm like, nah, dog, I ain't re up. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I'm thinking about Game Pass because I, I went a whole year, I didn't play hardly any Game Pass games. Yeah. I mean, if you, well, didn't you say you downloaded and played 10 minutes to test out? That was the first time in a year, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Like all of 22, I hardly played any Xbox. So game you're game. saying the experience was cheapened because you didn't play the games? <laughs> I, I mean, that's uh, that's a service that I'm not using. I should probably cancel it, right? I agree. Yeah. Yes. If you're if you're not using the service, yeah, cancel it. No reason. Like, yeah, I got um, I got the the upgraded version of the Sony one to play Stray. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That was that like was the it. only time they did it. That was it. That was the only thing I think that I've actually used for that service. So I'm like, yeah, I'm good, Sony. I'm dropping this down to the bare minimum. Don't need the additional yeah. thing. Do but you the... need PS Plus? The reason I have PS Plus was to play online games. Yeah. Do you even need that for PlayStation anymore? I think so. You still do. Okay. I think. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's a money maker, and they're like, probably. You know, if they keep pushing the button for money, they're going to keep doing it. So. Yeah. Yeah. 
But I, I just, I, I was just looking at their website. The games I downloaded for PS Plus were Star Wars, Jedi Fallen Order, Fallout 76, and Axiom Verge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the PS Plus <laughs> will still offer free games that have been out that you can add to your right. library, which is nice. I do like that. It is nice. I believe Game Pass has nothing like that. So this is where Sony is better, is that you, on your Plus, I believe... It gets added to actually no wait I'm sorry I'm wrong I, Xbox Live has that right they do Isn't yeah Xbox Live is Xbox Live built into Game Pass because I don't think I spend I pay extra for Xbox Live anymore it's just Game Pass now right I don't know here it goes either I should probably look at my credit card statement <laughs> I feel like Ultimate is bundled with everything yeah I feel like it yeah, is it includes oh my Live. god it's so confusing. It is too confusing. It's because right? it also it's like you know with certain version you have Game Pass on PC, some another version you don't have it on PC, you only have it on Xbox, yeah. and another yeah. version you got both. Yeah. It's so mm -hmm. Jofus in chat said the Xbox does have it, and yeah, so, so like their live does have those games, if the games aren't as good. I mean that this is one of those differences where like the free games you get with PlayStation Plus generally are more uh, exciting games if you haven't played them. Yeah, Fallout seventy six in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like you'll get stuff that you might be more interested in but you, it could be like two years like for instance yeah. this last of us uh remake i'm sure it's going to end up on playstation plus at some yeah. point but how long do you have to wait oh yeah you know that's uh, the question right, right before season two of the last of us show which they just announced mm. <laughs> yeah you're right they did announce that yeah hey and if you sign up for playstation plus <laughs> you can play all of season one on your PlayStation Five. There you go. Yep. I am. See, I am seeing finally PlayStations in stores. Like that's a good sign. Yeah. At least in my region, like I'm seeing them. Yep. No, yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Um, there well, was, was yeah something that I forgot about that I was actually interested in and relates to our conversation before the show. Okay. There was a leak. For Horizon, a leak about their multiplayer. Oh. They're getting multiplayer? I thought you are going to talk about how the Disney yeah. racism thing. Oh, well, we can do that, too. <laughs> uh, we can the circle splash, back. <laughs> the Splash Mountain shutdown? <laughs> <laughs> There's a leak. Uh, we've seen some art, I think. I don't know what else we've seen. I haven't really... I didn't look too much at the specifics of the leak. But I said, wouldn't it, it would make sense that if Horizon does multiplayer, that they made a monster hunting like game? Because that's what you do is you hunt monsters in cool ways. Okay. Yeah. And it kind of looks like that's what they're doing to me. That's cool. It, it, it would be, I would like that. <laughs> Because, yeah. like, hunting monsters in Horizon is fun. There's a lot of different kits you can use, a lot of different things, a lot of ways to approach the fight. It's kind of the highlight. Like that, right? I, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, if I could just play that part, that would be yeah. a lot of fun. No story. So, um, Don't yeah, give me any the... story. <laughs> no story. No, no, no story. <laughs> there was I would try and find a picture, but it was it looks very the art looks very Fortnite y or Immortal Phoenix really? rising kind of art style. Yeah. Um let's see, multiplayer leak. With they're really trying to build a franchise out of Horizon, huh? Yeah. Seems like they it. got that VR experience that they're really hanging their hat True, on. True, right? yeah. They're they got Horizon obviously uh uh, yeah, the original Forbidden West came out last year. Original was successful, this. and then they put it on yeah. PC, and you know, I'm sure that's been selling copies. So, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna link the picture. One of my favorite things to do is like look at people's game of the year lists. You know, like I'll listen to a podcast or you know, I'll go to a website and like look at everybody's game of the year list. I didn't see Forbidden West on anybody's game of the year list. I don't, I don't know if this is the franchise to build, like build. Like I, I don't know if it's got legs. Yeah. Are you excited for a multiplayer for her Horizon game? I like the idea of taking down those robot monsters together. That sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean that is the best part, hunting those monsters. Yeah. Like, that's exciting. It is. Yeah, I'd I'd check that out. And in, in the art, it's got like four players, um, attacking a monster. So. 
to me that that just says it's going to be a monster hunting game i think it makes monster the most hunter. sense it, for them it does to seem make like that. easy like to make that work right like to merge those two things right because you're going to get the armor off of the dead monster mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. you got you got plenty of different tribes you can play as like you can easily it does seem like something you can make you can merge pretty easily yeah Oh yeah, I did see this picture. Yeah. It looks a bit mobile-ish. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> right? My seeing it's a very different art ragged. style to <laughs> the actual like main game. <laughs> Horizon Zero Rush, mobile rush. <laughs> <laughs> Give us five dollars for every ten minutes you want to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, well, if it ends up being like a, a fully fleshed out thing where it's like its own game, but it's you know all the monsters that you've seen in Horizon, and now you can play with three other people and take them down, and there's a loot. I'll definitely check it out. Yeah, we'll see what it ends up being. There was some gameplay leak as well, but I haven't oh, seen really? much of it. Okay. Dub is it that like? All three of us are avid video game players. Even some might call us hardcore video game players, right? <laughs> we will just completely dismiss mobile gaming. Like, it just, <laughs> like, out of hand. Like, not even, like, consider, oh, it's coming to cell phones? Fuck that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, cell phone gaming is, like, the largest portion of gamers in the world. It's, like, by far... Like the biggest, it's not only the biggest money maker, but it's just the most people who play video games are doing so on a cell phone in the world. <laughs> like, what the fuck is I the disconnect? I should stream mobile games. That's what Briar's saying. Right? I want to stream mobile games. You know, yeah, yeah so there, there have been in the past like year, there have been mobile games that I'm like, damn, I wish that was on PC. <laughs> well, that, that Marvel game I've heard has had some crossover. That Marvel. Mobile game has had mm -hmm. some crossover. People are liking that. When cell phones first came out, not cell phones first came out. When like <laughs> smartphones first came out, like I remember buying games. Like I bought like Street Fighter for my phone. I was like, holy shit, I'm playing Street Fighter on an iPhone. This is amazing. I remember, uh, Plants vs Zombies. Like there were some good games, but like I haven't played a game on my cell phone in I don't know five years, probably since Pokemon Go. Once you got over released. Angry Birds. Well, every levels. game seems to have <laughs> shitty like monetization. Yeah, Angry Birds, I loved. But every every game now, like even uh, Plants vs Zombies Two, was so full of like crazy monetization that I just it was such a turnoff. I didn't want any part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Uh, I I feel like the experience I get from mobile games is uh, more popcorn you know, candy type of thing where I feel like <laughs> the games I play on the PC or the console are like meals, like a, a yeah, five sure. course meal. Besides that know? popcorn, let's have popcorn. You know, like I always True. say when you're waiting in line at the DMV, you know, or anything like you just got, I don't know. My life is filled with increments of small amount of time where I'm waiting for somebody to do something or I got to, you know, I've yeah. just got to sit there and wait for a bit mm -hmm. and ha to have some games on my phone would be great. But I mean, every time I'm confronted with games on my phone, it's so riddled with, like, you know, these card games that are just, you, you got to buy decks of cards. And, like, I don't have any interest in that. And I don't have any interest in, like, games where I got to pay, like, you know, $5 to, like, speed up a clock or something like that so I could play some more. Like, all of that just is so, I don't know. Just have you looked shitty. into the Apple Arcade? No. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure none of those games have what you're talking about. Really? Yeah, they're they're designed to be, or I think anyways, I could be wrong on this. I I believe they're designed to be somewhat console-ish, so you can actually mm -hmm. play them on uh, the the Apple 4K TV type of thing with the controller and all that. Oh right, yeah. Why yeah. would I want to play? A... Well, I'm just saying it's on the your phone as yeah, well, phone, and yeah. could also yeah. be on your Apple TV 4K if you own one of those, and then get a somewhat console experience. So that might be what you're asking for, possibly. I don't know. Maybe. I haven't looked into it because I also, like, I don't necessarily want to game on my phone right now. I used to. Yeah. Maybe it's a phase. I don't know. 
We've got all these other options for gaming. Like I'd rather play the Steam Deck. True. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But that, you know, it's not that Steam Deck's not just in your pocket. You know, like when you when you go to the, get a haircut and you is that a Steam like, Deck okay, in your pocket? Minutes. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't necessarily bring your Steam Deck to get a haircut. You know. <laughs> well, maybe you don't. <laughs> uh, you're right. I always feel you, like what you playing I there? Just, huh. Little vampire I don't survivors. I want to drain my phone's battery and like yeah. have to carry around a thing with me to charge it because if I don't have a phone, I might die. I, I drove in my my phone stranded. charger. That's how I got there. Is in my phone charger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mobile gate. I just and I don't want to be looking down. You know, I don't want my head to be down all the time. It makes my neck hurt. That's true. It is not comfortable. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> I think that's what I'm saying is like the ergonomics and the ability to have a gaming session on a phone. They're just very fleeting before like you, the neck pain kicks in before. Yeah. Yeah. You know, whereas like you're sitting at your PC or the console, like you, you have that figured out. At least hopefully you do. I do. Yeah. Cozy. Comfy. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just not paying attention to that space because I'm sure there's some like Bert games like Angry Birds or Plants vs Zombies that are being made now. <laughs> just a little five minute time wasters, you know? They're good. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure and if they're it, not, yeah. get a PC client so I can play them on PC, <laughs> please. Yeah, if it's a full experience. <laughs> yeah. Watts wants it on the PC, not just the mobile. Do, do, yeah, do. And ideally have cross save so I could do both. Cross save for everything. Cross save and cross play everywhere. Please. Yeah, we need a standardization, a unionize unionization of cross save across all yeah. platforms. That's true. Yeah, that's absolutely true. <laughs> when it's not there, it's just like, oh, this is this sucks. I mean, I already, oh god, I got to replay all this freaking beginning part. So disappointing when it's not there. When you're in line it for is. the DMV, Briar? Oh, man. <laughs> I can do that. In chat, they're saying Vampire Survivors, but I don't dare put Vampire Survivors on my phone. That just you, don't, seems... you don't even want to install it. You, you just... don't want to go to the promised yeah, land? That's... Look, <laughs> I'm not good with impulse control, as we know. Me neither. <laughs> I'll just, like, my life will just shut it down. <laughs> I'll be at the gym. My trainer will be like, dude. Dude, I'm like, I'm almost done. Be like, what if I minutes. ran more because I'm playing Vampire Survivors? What if I stay exercising longer because more cardio, I'm having fun? Okay, like you do like a like a like a treadmill, and you got the thing on the treadmill, yeah. and you're just controlling them while you run. Yeah, there was a black. You know what? You know what you should that. do. That is the only time you can play Vampire Survivors. Then you'll be oh. like, "Well, I gotta go. I gotta go for an hour run." Get on that I bike. Play my game. <laughs> I used to have an app. I used to run a lot. I used to have an app on my on my phone that it would simulate that you're being chased by zombies. That's fine. And it would it's it time. would say, "Turn here, turn here, run." You know, and it would say, "They're catching up. They're run faster." And it was like. It was kind of trying to do like a high intensity kind of thing where you you're you're running really hard and then you j slow down to a jog and then so it's like constantly changing your heart rate by telling you that there are zombies chasing you. Okay, you lost them. You lost them. Calm down, relax. It's just a light jog. Oh, oh, they're they're coming around the corner. They're coming around the corner. Cut, run, run, run. And then, you know you then you start like running fast again. It was a really fun app. I, I, I wish I could remember what it was called. Huh. Anybody in chat know what that was called? It sounds like a nightmare inducer. It was fun though. It was like it it made your your run like a game. It was super fun. <laughs> that sounds fun. I just feel like it, it would like slip into your dream world. Be like, I keep dreaming about zombies. <laughs> God, I'm gonna stop using that app. <laughs> the best like, way to honey... do stuff is to do things you enjoy doing, like being chased by deadly monsters. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> do you guys ever wake up from a dream where your wife your your significant other did something mean to you and you're mad at her or them for no oh yeah for no reason mm. oh yeah it's hard to get rid of that stank it's just emotional stank right? just sticks around yeah. <laughs> how, how could you <laughs> yeah. do the thing to the imaginary thing that we don't actually have i, I my wife used to dream about me like abandoning her and the kids wow. and i thought it was so silly like 
because she'd be mad at me afterwards. And then I started having dreams like that too. And I'd be like, oh shit, <laughs> it's a real thing. You're not a psychopath. <laughs> yeah, because it's it's a thing that you're experiencing. So like your emotions, you've you felt that. Like you know it yeah. hasn't happened. You know it's not real, but like emotionally you have felt it. So mm, yeah, you're like, I know this isn't reasonable, and I'm telling you it's a dream. But I'm pissed. I'm mad. I'm upset. Yeah, I am mad at you. You, you have need to fix to go. it. <laughs> Get out of my bed. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, Did I you think. Did you want to talk uh, about Splash Mountain before we leave? Do we need? To talk? Oh, I mean, it's it's over. They they shut um, it down. Are they getting rid of the ride, or are they just rebranding it? They're rebranding re it. it. It's okay. going to be the exact same layout of the ride. It's just not going to be the Song of the South anymore. Oh, okay. it's going to be Tiana's Bayou or something, or something like that. Tiana's What's ride, that yeah. Princess and the Frog. Okay, yeah. I didn't see that one. Yeah. It was good. So, I like that a lot. Yeah, it's going to be. Uh, re it's. I think it's. Like 18 months, actually. If you're curious about the details, in Walt Disney World, they just shut it down. And it's going to be 18 months before the new ride shows back up. But, you know, uh, Splash Mountain was a staple for a lot of people. I never, I didn't like going on it because I don't like being wet and walking around wet in a theme yeah. park. That's, like, terrible. Like, why do I, I mean, in Florida, you're always wet. Yeah, you're already wet. <laughs> but so you don't dry. There. That's the worst part. You stay yeah, wet forever. There's yeah. no way to dry. So wet. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds terrible to me like it i do not terrible. i do not want to have like wet pants you know or something florida's terrible is this california or florida is it land it's going to be coming in uh california as well i think like april or something i i yeah. can't remember exactly but like they're, how they're do you know about this this is such a weird thing to know know about memes is a huge fan of disney so i get oh, okay. all the uh, the information it's seeps the through yeah it, how it, often do you guys go to disney we haven't been recently. Well, I mean, we went like a year and a half ago or something like that when it opened back yeah. up from the pandemic. Yeah. Which was oh, actually okay. great because it was only 20% capacity. We had to wear a mask the whole time, but, um, mm -hmm. you know, it is what it is with that. It wasn't bad. Less people, less lines. There was More less time people. To feel like a Star Wars person. Yeah. And there was like <laughs> six feet distancing for all the lines. So you don't feel like you're a, a sardine packed in the lines, you know? Yeah. It's nice. I yeah, it was kind of nice. Like build my own lightsaber. I heard that's expensive, but I would like to do yeah, it. Yeah, it's like a couple hundred bucks to build your own lightsaber. But oh, yeah, I thought it was more than that. Briar's like, like <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I eat on forty nineties. Yeah, he's like, what? Now. That's like, that, I can get like twenty lightsabers for my forty ninety. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that experience apparently is really good. I mean, the whole Star Wars area. I can't remember the exact name that it's called, but uh, that whole area in on both sides of the coast is incredibly well done and they got characters that come through like mandalorian and grogu comes through now apparently like says hi oh, to people I yeah i love grogu yeah and they they got like a <laughs> he's like in the, the the pack and he's like moving around it's really really freaking cool what they do with that so i know you had or in an earlier episode you had mentioned that you don't understand adult disney and like i just i again, don't i don't get it <laughs> the appeal is to be literally or to, to feel like you literally transported into a different world or universe. And like the Star mm -hmm. Wars universe is probably the place that you'd want to be transported to, you know, mm -hmm. from playing games and yeah. all that. So they do a really good job of that in that zone. That's yeah. the thing. I need more places like Disney for other IPs, other franchises. Mario Land? Because Mario, Mario yeah. Mario that just opened up in, uh, or is about to open up in Universal Studios, Southern California. Very nice. Because yeah, that is, that is the thing. You feel you feel like you're a part of that world. You're not in reality anymore. You're kind of in a, a fantasy land, and that's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. And rides are fun. I like rides. Yeah, rides are fun. Oh, dude, I was really I was really just making a joke when I was saying that about Disney, like being an adult, so I don't go to Disneyland. <laughs> like I get it. Like I got plenty of things like that I still love from my childhood. Just because Disney isn't one of them doesn't mean I disrespect yeah. on it. Well, I get the sentiment though, because like you know. They, there's two ways of thinking about it, but they've they've really done uh, a good job of catering to both. Aside from the nickel and diming, now they're charging for like fast passes and stuff, and I'm like, that's everywhere though. <laughs> we went to a we went to a not an NHL game, but like the league under NHL, like the local hockey league, mm -hmm. and they were charging fifteen dollars for beers. Yeah, for Bud Light. <laughs> yeah, it was Bud Light. That's so expensive. I mean, I I bought them. 
That's almost <laughs> You're as, like, as expensive all as right. eggs. Jesus. Yeah, that's. I mean, <laughs> I'm not watching a fucking amateur hockey game without Bud Light, but <laughs> I'm registering my protest. <laughs> Here's your fifteen dollar Natty Light. <laughs> Good day, sir. Oh man. I got well, I said fifteen dollars. <laughs> no, that's rough. Man. That's definitely rough. I don't think I could do it. I think I'd boycott it. I'd be like, nope, I draw the line here. Yeah. Like, am I, I allowed to bring in my own vodka shots? Huh? Yeah. Because that's what I'm going to start doing. The tickets were $9, so I can't be too upset. <laughs> uh, that's not bad, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, should we wrap up this episode? Yes. No, nah, we should keep talking about What's happening? The Steam Next Fest about... is coming. But that's oh, yeah, Next Fest. We can talk that? about it. What's that? Um, it is from the 6th to the 13th. So next Monday is when it starts. Okay. When's the first big game of February coming out? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, we'll tell you next week if it happens. Yeah, yet. tune in <laughs> next week. <laughs> it's about to go down. I'm going to... Definitely be doing some Steam Next Fest stuff. It's just so fun to just like hop into a ton of demos, bunch of games, get their demos specifically ready for Steam Next Fest. And then, you know, it's a good yeah. time. Especially as that is the week before Wild Hearts. So um, that will be perfect. Find our Wild Hearts? No, that's already out for You can play that right now. <laughs> so good, too. You should definitely play it. It's really fun. <laughs> it's like a, I think it's like a 45 minute experience. Start to start to end. It's really fun. Huh. All right. Can you play it on your mobile phone? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> I don't know you play it on the Switch. <laughs> yeah, so. there you go. I have it's a mobile phone. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, that is the episode. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next week for... Uh, actually, it won't be February yet. Or will oh. we? Oh, no. It will be February. My... Yeah. February, I, my brain February was... Is is my brain like was there. completely, like, turned around for a second. Um, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for hanging out. We appreciate it. Shout out to our Patreon members and our Twitch subs for supporting the shows. We will see you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye. Adios.